Hey, it's me. I'm back. Uh, this is Abby with Abby Reviews. I forgot my own name, Jesus Fix It, God. What happens when you get old? So, uh, here's what's happening, family, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so there's this show called The Sweet Life, Los Angeles. This is the, um, what's it called? Reality show from Issa Rae. Now, I have watched several episodes, um, uh, and I'm just going to give you my reaction to this episode because I haven't seen it. This is episode no f- number four, Seat at the Table. The last episode, um, one little boy was mad disrespectful to not only the little girl he brought with him, but to the person, to event, to who he brought the little girl with. We'll, we'll get into that if they discuss. They probably go, It's probably going to be a discussion on this episode because he was out of pocket but so, let's watch this episode and see what happens yeah we just jumping in middle of the season i don't care it's a reality show it'll be fine if you're watching then you know who the people i'm going to be talking about if not you don't really need to know because i'm probably gonna cuss them all out deal deal let's get into it okay so here's what's happening Right, so the boys are discussing what happened on the trip. So PJ likes this girl named Becky. Becky was there with her friend Bree, and PJ showed up to the event with somebody else's birthday party. He was invited. He bought a plus one. He didn't get no clearance. He didn't tell nobody he was bringing his plus one. Nothing. So Becky thinking it was going to be a time for her and PJ to get closer because they both got feelings for each other, and he rolled up with another broad. So she's immediately in her feelings. All of the women then turned, other women immediately turned on baby girl. Her name was Miami, who he brought with her. So she got got him together and she left. And he stayed the night with Becky after they had conversation and worked at their shit. Now, Bree came to the event with Jordan. They showed up in matching outfits. Um... He has been putting it out there that he likes her. And she has definitely said she has feelings for him. So they all coupled up and booed up the whole weekend till they get to the birthday dinner. When this nigga says, and I quote, calm down with all the flirting in front of people. It's too much PDA. Nigga, your whole face was just in my esophagus. What do you mean? And she, rightfully so, she was like, okay. You hot and cold. I don't know. I don't do this back and forth. You either in or out shit or, or get off the pot. What the fuck are you doing? Now, Jordan is trying to explain his side of it. And he was like, yeah, I'm just not ready to give myself to somebody. There's always going to be emails to answer. Blah, blah, blah. What the fuck does that got to do with a relationship? Sir, what does that got to do with a relationship? Just say you on that fuck boy. You on your whole shit. And you want to continue to be on your whole shit. That's it. You ain't got to do all of that extra. Ugh. Okay, so Brianna and Becky are in the car and um, Becky is doing drop-offs. She has a side hustle where she's selling CMOS supplements in addition to her 9 to 5. Usually, so we love multiple streams of income around here. So she and Brianna have a conversation and she was like, I woke the fuck up and saw PJ's bright purple do rag staring me in the face, and she was like, "Yeah, they had." A, she said they had a conversation, and him and the girl are just so, friends. And I said, Brianna starts talking about how she feel like she's just floating around. She's feeling a little imposter syndrome because everybody in the friend group has successful businesses, and she just has her nine to five. And she really got to get her grind and her hustle up and start a business of some sort. And she, but she doesn't know where to start or even what to do. So, and the boys were talking about that before. Like, you think you would be more interested if, in Brianna if she had her own hustle and she was doing something else? I guess she's too available because she just has like a nine to five. Not like a nine to five is like nothing to spit at. Because I have a 9 to 5. I also have side hustles. But. Her 9 to 5. Doesn't make her worthy to be with you. Because you're an entrepreneur. Everybody, Like not everybody is built for entrepreneurship. 
um, everybody, that's, that's just not how everybody is bred. So are you saying you find her less desirable because she doesn't have, she may have the grind and hustle. She just may not be cut out for to be an entrepreneur. So that's, that's interesting. All right, the episode is over. So let me tell you what happened. Um, young lady name is Thailand. Her and her boyfriend, they went to go see her mom. She's like, her mom is really close to boyfriend. You would think the boyfriend was the son and she was the daughter-in-law. And the mom was talking about how she had made some bad. She, if she had known that her, your dad, her baby daddy would be in jail for 31 lead to life, she maybe not would have. So, um, her mama gets obsessed and starts crying. And she's like, Mom, it's not, you can't help who you fall in love with. Blase bloom, blue, blue. So, you know, they still in contact with the daddy. He's been in there for 26 years. Hopefully, he's getting out soon. I don't know what he's in for. That's a lot of time. But it could be for some bullshit. So, I don't know that man's story. So, we just going to leave that right there. So, baby girl is having, who's, we was just talking about Thailand, is having this legacy table event. And she's like, she's building her legacy and she want people, movers, shakers, uh, bosses to come. And she handpicked everybody, which was pretty much the friend group and some extras that we don't know, uh, to come to this event. Now, Bree and Jordan are on the outs. PJ and Becky, they good. So she strategically uh, placed people where she wants them to be. So there's limited amount of drama. So Jordan and his little brother went to his mama's house for dinner his little brother go to their mama's house for dinner um and so he gets a text message from brianna saying i heard what the fuck you said about me and he's like what are you talking about she he was like one of the boys one of the girls who's attached to one of the boys he was talking to told them what you said my nigga they said they told me what you said about me and i don't fucking appreciate it now, his mama told him to put the phone down. She's like, whatever's happening on that phone will not be resolved in the next 30 minutes. Now, I don't know what was said or not said or if he didn't respond at all to her again. But big tension at this legacy. Now, they not acting a fool. Nobody's yelling across the table for their need to be heard. But it's a lovely dinner. The atmosphere is beautiful. She gets a phone call from her dad in the middle for him to encourage her and tell her he loves her and he's proud of her at all. So Brianna sees Jordan across the way having a conversation with a young lady. So she decides, well, if he's not going to come to me, I'll go to him. So she walks up to him and she says, do you want to talk? And he was like, no, I don't have nothing to say. She was like, okay, are you sure you don't want to have a conversation with me? He's like, yeah, no, I ain't got nothing to say. Okay, bet. Fine. And now Brianna is, she's giving very much me and my Scorpio self. Cool. You showed me who you are. Now I believe you. And then now it's time for your funeral and you're dead to me. Like, that's it. I don't, listen, you ain't got to tell me, but one time you don't want me and you ain't new. Got to worry about me again. Point blank period to end. That was how the episode ended. This show. That was how the episode ended. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to do every episode of this. Uh, This was on a whim. Because I'm on my lunch break. And I decided not to take a nap. I decided to wait until I clock out. To fall into a coma. So I thought this was so cute. That I could do right quick. (sighs) On my lunch break. But this has been my review and recap of the sweet life los angeles season one episode four seat at the table i may do some more of these or it could be could be not it just depends on i don't know y'all let me know if y'all want more of these because i know y'all gonna watch it on hbo max i'll see you later